first of all, I think you have to be out of your mind to write a sequel at all because people invariably are going to say, oh, you know, I like the first book better. But I love Sullivan's Island and that story so much and those characters so much. Um, I thought they still had something to say, um, and they do. There's plenty to be said in this book. I mean, everyone has an opinion. The house has an opinion. I mean, the dogs have opinions. I mean, it's, so it's really, it's a very lively book, and I, I had a great time writing it. Here we are telling the story of Beth this time. If you might recall that the story of Sullivan Island was really about sisters, and this is a little more of a mother-daughter story, but this is really Beth coming of age, and she's 23 years old, and she's just out of college, and she thinks she knows it all. You know, and so, of course, um, she sets herself up for her own kill. And then she, of course, rises like the phoenix and reestablishes her um, trust with her mother. It's pretty hairy. It gets a little hairy there in the middle. But I love Beth because Beth really finds out what it means to be a woman. And she also finds out what it means to be a really good daughter. Everybody wants to know what's a Geechee girl. Well. Geechee is a term that comes from a long, long time ago, um, and it talks about people who worked along the Ogeechee River that began in North Florida and continues up to Georgetown, South Carolina. It's the rice plantation country. Um, so if you lived in rice plantation country, you were called a Geechee. So everybody's very excited about this story. I hope people will go out and say they've just read something magical that took them to a happy place and that they feel a little bit richer for having read it.